I said to so my tell it as it is. Because oh, this is our meeting. Frank and Paul meeting, paid for us, run by us, organised by us. Yeah. And I know. Steve H is in, blacklisted worker, electrician, also a committee member of the rank and file committee. We've got this meeting here today, lads, and we know what we're here for. We've got the biggest confrontation that's ever faced us since the inception of the JRB electrical industry. 35% pay cuts, de recognition of our skills. I said, it's a fight we've got to win, there's no two ways about that. We will win this fight. We need to organise again our members. We've already seen a massive contribution from the rank and file. This has already had massive results. It's forced our union officials to change its tune. And instead of waiting till December, now they're on board with us. I said, and there's progress, and we will pro progress. But this mass demos has got to be a catalyst for the inevitable mass walkouts. Industrial action is the only language these companies understand. And that's where we've got to be at, mass walkouts. Right, we're basically fighting on behalf of electricians and other building workers all over the country because our rate of pay is going to be cut by 35%. Uh, the hourly rate's going down from £16 to £10. We're not happy and uh, we're trying to get people to support us. The union at the moment is getting involved, but they're very, very slow. We're pushing for uh, a ballot of all Unite members by Unite. But at the moment, they're dragging their heels and it may well take unofficial action in the coming weeks. That's the only way that this dispute could be resolved. So we're appealing for people to seriously consider walking off sites next week, if they can. And uh, we believe that that will force the issue and uh, will bring the employers to their knees, basically, because that's the only thing that they, they're not happy about when we withdraw our labour. And we would appeal to people to seriously consider doing that as the only way to get the message across that we're not tolerating the 35% uh, pay cut. And uh, the sooner people start thinking about that, the better, because otherwise it'll be too late, and before you know it, it'll be December the 7th and people will be on £10 an hour. And the union will have said, oh well, not a lot we could have done. We were dragging, we were caught up in ballot paper organisation and personally, I think uh, they're deliberately dragging their reels and are looking to avoid a ballot. So we've got to force the employers to take notice and it will also then force the union to act on our behalf. And uh, that's the only way that I think this dispute will be resolved. Unofficial action next week on some of the large sites in the UK, followed by other sites uh, taking solidarity action. How do you do? I'm Mick Dooley, I'm a UCAT candidate, standing for the UCAT election, and I've came along to support the electricians. The reason I've came along to support the electricians is because the electricians are putting a fight back. And I'm in the construction industry, and that's why I'm supporting other construction workers, because they're trying to do something about cuts in their terms and conditions. And what I want to do is encourage that, and I want to encourage other building workers to do the same. I mean, I'm the leader of UCAT, and that's exactly what we'll be doing. Hello there, my name's Russ Blakely, I'm a pipe fitter welder working in the uh, H&V National Agreement industry. Unfortunately I can't get a, a job working under the National Agreement, uh, like a lot of lads out there, sparks, plumbers, fitters, having to work for an employment agency, non-essential parasitic bloodsuckers, and it's about upholding the agreements that we've got because if they go it's going to be worst case scenario and it'll be a race to the bottom. So we really need all do to come together to march forward on this, plumbers, pipe fitters, electricians, duct work erectors and hold these agreements together and get everybody back working under the national agreements. Industry, but what this is called and what uh, my role is is solidarity. Well, I was elected onto the rank and file committee, a great honour, and I'm in Manchester today and hopefully Manchester is going to elect their rank and file committee because all this is about ownership of the issue. Members should have control, leaders lead, that's fine. Now campaigns are good for sure, protests absolutely, but the only thing that's going to bring this to it, the only thing that's going to bring the now seven, it was eight in the rogues gallery, now seven, to their knees is direct action and you know the TUC's made it official, very civil and very disobedient and that's what we've been doing over the last few weeks, it seemed like months, but in actual fact these sparks have been doing protest demos, storming sites just for the last six weeks. And it's got to go on, it's got to get bigger like the pebble in the pond, increase everywhere. We've got to stop the job, affect the employer in its pocket, stop the profits and then bring them to hill. And it's not just about defending the JIB, we've got to improve it. 
So victory to the Sparks, solidarity.